Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking us through this topic, uh, algebraic expressions. And uh, for this lesson, we're going to look at simplifying algebraic expressions. We just want to see how you can simplify given algebraic expressions. So the previous lesson, we looked at how we come up with algebraic expressions. But then you realize that when you are trying to, you can as well check from our previous videos on formation of algebraic expressions, that is basically using letters to represent numbers. Uh, when we did that, we were coming up with quite complex expressions that needed to be simplified further. But then we didn't do that. So we want to see how how do you do that? So we have few sampled questions to help us illustrate that, how you can simplify algebraic expressions. And then, of course, at the end of the session, we have some few as, uh, assignment questions to just help you practice and to help gauge, help you gauge on your understanding of the same concepts as discussed during this lesson. So these terms are important. The two terms that are, that, that are used here are important when it comes to simplifying algebraic expressions. So we have like So we have like this one here and unlike terms. So when you talk about terms, what do you mean? So when you talk about terms, they are the sections of the expressions of the expression that are separated by the plus. Like you can see, we have a term here and we have a term there, then they are separated by this. So this is what we are calling a term, you know, term. So terms if there are many, and a term if it is one. So this is a term, this is a term, this is a term, this is another term. The sections that are separated by the pluses and the minuses. Like this, this expression down here has how many terms? There is the first term, second, third, fourth, fifth. So five terms. So these terms can either be like or they can be unlike. So we want to see how do you know whether they are like or they are unlike now that you have known what terms are. So we say terms are considered like if they meet this condition. One, they have to contain same variables. And then the variables must be raised to the same power. So there are two conditions that must be met for terms to be considered like. Otherwise, if that is not the case, then they, they, they will be unlike. So the two conditions must be met simultaneously. First of all, the terms must contain same variables. Two, the variables must be raised to the same power. So we have like x, 2x plus 3x. See, these are like terms. Why? They have the same variable x and x. And the variables here, x is raised to power 1 x there is also raised to power. If you have 2x plus 2x squared, then these are not like terms. Why? They contain the same variables, yes, but the variables, the variables are raised to different powers. So that disqualifies them from being like terms. So these ones we call unlike terms because they contain same variables, but the variables are raised to different powers. So the two conditions must be met at the same time for you to conclude that terms are like. Like you can see this term is not a like term to that y because they contain different variables. You see that. So when one of the condition is not condition when 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 one of the conditions is not met, then definitely 
the, the terms ceases to be like. So the, the, two ter the two conditions must be met all or both at the same time. So the, the, ver the, the terms must contain the same variables and the variables must also be raised to the same power. Otherwise, the terms are unlike. So when simplifying algebraic expressions, only like terms are added or subtracted. So it means if you have 2x plus 3x squared, you can't add these two. These are two different. I mean, these are unlike terms, so you cannot, as we say, only like terms can be added or subtracted. We're going to see how that is done. So let's try and see how that is applicable here. So what we do, we collect the like terms together. So you see x and x, y and y. So we collect them together. So we have 3x minus x plus 4y plus 3y plus z. So 3x minus x, we have 2x. 4y plus 3y is plus 7y. And of course, z now stands alone. So that is the simplified. So you see in this case, I have subtracted the like terms and I have also added the like terms 4y and 3y. Yeah, so only like terms are added or subtracted every time you are trying to simplify algebraic expressions. Let's see another example here. Are we able to see any like terms? Yes, there is this term here and the other term. Both of them are containing the same variables A. So let me put them together, what you call collecting the like terms together. So 2a plus 4a plus 3b minus b. So these ones, you can add them or subtract. So 2 plus, again, as you add or subtract like terms, it is the coefficients that are either added or subtracted. This number here, we call it coefficient. Yes, the, the, the number that is written before the letter, we call it coefficient. So it is the coefficients that are added. 2 and 4 to give us 6a. Or again, it is the coefficients that are added or subtracted. So this one here, we have 1 here. Usually, if the coefficient is 1, we don't write it. So 3 minus 1 is 2, 2b. See, something like that. So take note of what you have said that when you are simplifying algebraic expressions, it is the like terms that are either added or subtracted. We have uh, one more here. So again, here the terms are already, the, the like terms are already collected. So we have 6x minus 9x. But this one, I will have to start with the positive. So every time when we have positive and negative, it's better you start with the positive because of the rule of board mass or the board mass rule that addition comes before subtraction. So I'll start again. The signs are written on the left hand side of the number. So I'll start with the positive 9. So positive 9y minus 2y. So again, when you are subtracting 2, because you are supposed to subtract this and that, and the second number here is bigger, then you subtract in the reverse direction, but then you give it a negative sign. So this is going to be 9 minus 6, which is 3. But because I've subtracted the reverse, I'll give it a negative sign, so negative 3x. And then, of course, here we have 9 minus 2 is 7, 7y. So the best way of writing this expression is to start with the positive one. So 7y minus 3x. We still have uh, one more here. So here you, you still have to collect the like terms together. So we have 8x and 7x. So again, we have 7x minus 8x plus 
5y minus 9y. So again, you can see 8 is bigger compared to 7. So I will subtract in that direction. So 8 minus 7 is 1. But you'll write it as minus 1x. Again, we have 9 here is greater. So I'll subtract again in the reverse to give me minus 4x for y. So if the coefficient is 1, remember we said this, this number that is written before the letter is called coefficient. So if the coefficient is 1, you don't have to write it. So you just write minus x minus 4y. Now the last one is here. So again, you will collect the terms containing k. You collect them together. So minus 10k minus 3k and then plus 2m minus 5m. So this one we have 10 negatives and 3 negatives. You have a total of 13 negatives. So that reduces to negative 13k. And then again this one, you are subtracting 5 from 2. So 5 is greater. So you subtract in the reverse. But you remember to give it a negative sign. So negative 3y, 3 but the negative 3m. So that is all about simplifying uh, algebraic expressions. So we have a few questions here to help you practice. You can attempt them. There are about four questions. When done, you can always be posting responses on the feed on the comment section. We'll be able to look at them and give feedback in the due course. Otherwise, that is all. Our next lesson, we're going to see how to simplify now expressions that are fractional, like we call them algebraic fractions, the ones that are written in the form A over B. That is what we're going to look at during our next lesson. Otherwise, that marks the end for now. Until next time, goodbye.